Capricorn, what's going on? Welcome in to the channel. I hope you're having a good evening. Okay, happy Sunday, fine day. All right. Although, Capricorn, I feel like uh, you got a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> you might not be um, telling anybody this, okay? Or you're not, or this is not apparent, or this is not obvious, okay? Uh, but there's there's a lot going on beyond behind the scenes for you, Capricorn. Okay, uh, when meditating on your energy this evening, I ain't gonna lie, I got some very interesting, um, I got a very interesting vision, okay? So, uh, what I got for you, Capricorn, let me tune and tap in, all beings of the greatest, highest white light, most high, holy angels, holy ancestors, um, Archangel Michael, thank you for your protection, uh, show us, show me clearly, spirit, what it is that, um, Capricorn needs to see and hear. Okay, Capricorn, come through with the message. <coughs> DJ Kylie said you need to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Body in Motion by Bryson Tiller, Little Baby, and Rod Wave, okay? I mean, Roddy Rich, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so Capricorn, this is the energy that I <coughs> received for you, okay? Excuse me, Capricorn, I am battling a cold as well, all right? Uh, but I'm here with the messages, okay? Coming through for you. Capricorn, you are in the birthing position, okay? The alarm is going off. Someone six people to be exact one ring leader okay um i'm hearing who's now in ten of swords energy okay um death card energy all right um these six people tried to tap into your energy but when they tried to test you or come for you or manipulate you or um, come against you, overpower you. They tried to do something, these six individuals, okay? And they were met with a rude awakening, all right, Capricorn? Um, the energy that I've received for you, Capricorn, is that these six individuals found out that you are Zeus or Storm, okay? Um, and you have electric barbed wire fencing, Ashe and Amen, around your entire aura, thanks to your grandfather's connection to the Orisha and your grandmother's connections to Mommy Water. They have Hold on, y'all. Yeah, they have activated. Uh, they have activated and um, they're... Hold on, you guys. When you can't read your own handwriting, this is funny. Uh, they have activated and come to your rescue, okay? They see you trying to break free. Uh, they saw you trying to break free of something, Capricorn. And um, you were trying to connect fully to some Scorpio energy, okay? Uh, through the Palladian side of your lineage, all right? Um, by way of the Atlanteans, Capricorn, okay? Which is who you are connected to uh, through the reptilians. There's a cousin, okay? Um, dwarf energy, Capricorn, where there's a link that's tied to someone or the person that came against you for, for the throne or for they challenged you for your crown, okay? Um, but by you being in king of swords energy capricorn so it's showing me like you you stood up for yourself you spoke some sort of truth um you freed yourself okay uh ace of swords energy all right for your ace of pentacles for your new beginning ace of wands okay new path new opportunity new doorway uh you realize that something had to come to an ending and i end 
to an end, excuse me. And I feel like Capricorn, you brought that ending. However, I feel like um, the people who came against you were were caught off guard or they had to be. Okay, because the vision that I received, now that's the word, that that's the guidance the Spirit gave me for you, Capricorn. But the, the vision that I saw was this. I went into meditation, like I always do. And I check in with Archangel Michael. And I check in, um, you know, on my surroundings, see who's around me, what's going on, okay, in the ethers. All right. And um, I did that, Capricorn. And I saw that Archangel Michael was there, like he always is. But then I also saw the presence of Archangel Gabriel, which gives me, when I see Archangel Gabriel, I know that there's a Taurus energy um, that I'm taking on, okay, which is an Empress energy or a bull, okay, I'm able to, I'm, I'm in battle or I'm needing some sort of extra layer of protection, okay. <clears throat> So I asked Source, hey, you know, Source, uh, let's cleanse my space. Let's cleanse my aura. Well, that taps me into my connection to the indigenous people. So I tap into my animal protection and animal spirit guides that are around me to see what's going on. It immediately drew me into the panther energy, into uh, my panthers that I have set up as protection for me, right? To alert me of what's going on in my energy, okay? I'm kind of giving you guys an inside scoop. I probably am giving you a little too much, but I want to give you the story for you to understand what I saw. Now, I feel like Spirit knew I was getting ready to do the Capricorn reading. So this is why Capricorn, you happen to be the one that this re this energy is relating or resonating with. Um, I probably need to figure out where in Capricorn I have my placements, but this is not about me really, but it kind of is. So I don't know, take it as it resonates. It's all valid, okay? And so back to my meditation. So I'm tuning, tapping, clearing my space. And my Panthers sent me back a message and let me know that there's a predator in my in my field okay there's a there's there's an enemy in my field so i search my field and i zone in on this enemy this threat that's in my field that's trying to come up in my house okay come up in my yard hence the barbed wire fencing that's around my property okay and so my systems i guess were not activated but when i tuned in and honed in that activated my systems and i saw lightning strike a witch i'm not lying to you that is the vision that i received this witch after I saw the switch be struck, the switch fell, okay? And the switch fell, and then the Spirit showed me the Ten of Swords, okay? So your enemy is in the Ten of Swords energy. What I got was that this person is pushing up daisies, and I don't even like to be calling out death or recognizing death in no type of way unless I am um, communicating to bring someone healing or peace through my medium skills, okay, and abilities. But other than that, I don't like to call on the spirit of death, and I do not like like to um, <clears throat> uh, carry out any form of <sighs> any form of retaliation. Okay, that's not me, and spirit knows that. And so it was weird of how that all happened because it's like I just did my normal thing with tapping in to clear my energy. And when I did, unfortunately, someone got caught in the crossfire. And so I feel like um, they're giving me that song by Rihanna. I just shot a man down. OK, um, in Grand Central Station. And you're realizing this person, this person's feeling this though. This person is like, I just screwed up. Not not you. Because the vibe that I got is that the person that's in Ten of Swords that's pushing up daisies. See, they came with the crew because after that I called out, is there anyone else in my energy that is not supposed to be here? And as soon as I did that, one by one, five other people stood up and exited. One, the last, the dwarf, ran out of my energy so i'm just letting you know capricorn um things have been cleared okay um someone got caught in the wrong location is what i'm hearing let me pick up these cards that fail hold on <sighs> okay we have the unexpected yeah something happened and we have the void uh-oh Ooh. So we have angel number one and we have angel number 43. Okay, this gives me that, yeah, someone's needing some sort of support, moral support. Um, 
empathy, sympathy, Capricorn. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, someone, someone got involved in something they shouldn't have. Okay, someone got caught in some situation they shouldn't have been in. Okay, in this void. I wish you guys could see the card, but it's kind of dark. In this card, um, there is a woman laying on the bottom down here. Okay, uh, this is a very dark space to be in. And it's called Dark Moon, the Void. I don't think I would want to be in the void, Capricorn. The unexpected. Someone's experienced some sort of unexpected loss here. Or tragedy I'm also getting the cycle of life like someone passed on but this could have been due to natural causes at least it's gonna appear that it's natural causes but this person was ooh, in the way this came out and what I'm about to say with resistance and abundance here this perfect person Perkins could be valid I don't know why I was gonna say Perkin um, but this person okay um, was with resistance they were trying to block your blessings or your abundance we have resistance and abundance coming out together dang you guys you know what let me just turn some light on because hold up <clears throat> i want you all to be able to see excuse me excuse me excuse me i want everybody to be able to see the cards so let me rewind we have the void okay this is someone um, that's feeling loss, depression, alone, isolation, okay? Darkness, there's no light in there. Like there's a little bit of starlight here and there, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, maybe you're sleeping a lot, okay? Um, it's giving me the energy of Aquarius for some reason as well. Maybe you need to go watch the Aquarius reading, Capricorn, okay? Um, Aquarius, if you're in here, what's up? All right. Uh, but the unexpected with blue moon. OK, it's giving me the energy of um, having someone having gone to the light. OK, someone's gone to the light here. Someone's definitely gone to the light, Capricorn. All right. Uh, but the energy that I received, this person that's gone to the light <clears throat> with the way this card came out with resistance, this person was blocking or coming up against your abundance with abundance coming out okay I hate to say this um, this person could have been the Fox okay because there is a Fox in this picture maybe they were a sly Fox someone's mouth could have got them in trouble okay okay switch decks all right let me switch decks Capricorn um hmm this is hmm <clears throat> interesting here capricorn wow yeah someone's got an electric and then it has electricity oh yeah let me finish so so in the vision going back to the vision we have wizard of the woods with focus here Okay, um, yeah, spirits have his, has his hands in this angel number 50. This change that came in, this was this spirit did this. Okay, spirit did this. This was uh to restore focus. Okay, someone had lost control or lost their way or something like that. Okay, and spirit stepped in with the focus and restored order brought the light. Unfortunately, uh, spirit brought death. Okay, um, is the energy that I'm receiving here, Capricorn. And my condolences if you have lost someone that was near and dear and close to you, my apologies. Um, the energy that I received so far is that for me, I don't know this person, but it doesn't mean that you don't, Capricorn, because it's definitely showing up here in your reading. Okay, um. Back to the reading, the vision. So spirit showed me this person be electrocuted, um, struck by lightning. Okay. And when this person was struck by lightning, and like I said, then um, I zoned into this other energy. I mean, this other room where I, I asked, I called out, okay, in my vision, like, hey, is there anyone else here that's not supposed to be here? And um, like I said, five other people got up and exited the room, the last one being a dwarf. And we have the wizard of the woods showing up, and dwarf's habitat is usually in the woods, okay? So there's something that spirit has seen going down. 
on this, I feel like it has something to do with this Gemini full moon. Someone maybe tried to, to pull a spell. Okay, but we have healing here with bear spirit. You have some massive protection around you. Okay, um, even though you could be in the cold right now, you could feel um, like you're at a loss. There is a mothering energy that you can tap into. Okay, there is nourishment here. It's in the form of your angelic guidance. Okay, your, your spiritual team and tribe. Okay, more for the Capricorn spirit. What's going on with Capricorn? We have playfulness and then we have protection. Like I said, you have this protection that's available here for you, Capricorn. Okay, even if you feel alone in this as you're experiencing whatever this is that has played out. Spirit is still asking for you to be light and fluffy and playful and optimistic and free. Okay, um, although it may be hard for you to do this at this time, I just get this vibe. We have elves here. Uh, but there is magic, okay? Um, it may be good for you to get around some children at this time. Um, someone to make you laugh if you don't have any children, nieces or nephews or something like that to get close to, okay? Uh, someone that's going to bring light to the situation because something traumatic has definitely transpired, okay? I'm not sure on what level. Did, like I, All I can tell you is what I saw in the vision. So, yes, back to the vision. Oh, my goodness, because eventually I'm going to tell you. Okay, yes, so one person got electrocuted. But then after that, okay, the other five, like, spirit was like, oh, no, I thought spirit was going to give the other five a pass because they weren't the, link, the ring leader. But, no, spirit didn't give the other five a pass. Spirit electrocuted, uh, lightning bolted the other five. Lift they butt up, okay? electrocuted do you see the the fire the light in source's hand because this is source in this picture okay this wizard all right source lit up magician energy source lit up the other five people capricorn i pray that no one in your family has gotten electrocuted but capricorn i promise you if these people were were murdered or like there was some something with electricity they got electrocuted whoever this was they were trying to bring you harm little do you know and this could be friends family members co-workers um whoever the uh, lover okay i'm not sure who this was to you capricorn and i know this may be hard to accept but this person had a lot to do with your downfall a lot like, they played a huge role in your loss. Okay, we have the void. Why is the void here for Capricorn, please? Show me clearly. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Archangel. Thank you, Archangel. Michael, I can't even talk. Okay, show me clearly, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Most High. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I said King of Swords energy, but you're showing up in the Queen of Swords energy, which is the same thing. This is someone who's had victory after some sort of battle, okay? Um, you've received the head of, of your enemy here, okay? Um, maybe, like, this is also giving me the energy of, like, you're finding out that someone close to you um, had a hand in trying to deceive you, slaughter you. Um, basically, that's what it is. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right. Um, Spirit, show me why the unexpected is here. I think because you might not have expected this person to be the one that was trying to block you. Yeah, with the two of swords. You weren't expecting it to be someone that you've leaned on, depended on, called on, that you cut for, that you've been there for. You weren't expecting this to be a close person that was doing. I feel like this is almost like you had to protect yourself. And you're going to find out that this was someone close to you that you were having to protect yourself from. With the princess of swords. Yeah, you're going to receive some enlightenment some information um you're gonna receive a message communication there also could be someone watching you or trying to gain some information on you capricorn okay why is abundance here for capricorn we have the prince of cups 
I feel like you're going to receive this abundance because this is beauty for your ashes. Okay. Um, you could have been bitten by a snake, Capricorn. Okay. There's a snake in that cup that that person, um, Prince of Cups, is looking at. Okay. Something could have led you to drink from um, a bad, a bad batch. You took a bad batch of something, Capricorn, or you received a bad batch of karma. Okay. And so now some abundance, is, you received a bad batch of something or someone, we'll put it that way. But now abundance is coming in for you. Why is the wizard of the woods here, spirit? For Capricorn, thank you. The wisdom of the woods is here because spirit brought an end to it. Scorpio energy. Spirit brought the change, okay? What did I say about the Scorpio energy? <sighs> Oh my God, Capricorn, someone really did do this. Someone really did try to come for your crown. What did I say about the Scorpio energy? I can't even remember. I'm trying to find it in my note, but I don't see it. Maybe I didn't say anything about Scorpio energy. Yes, I did. Here it is. It says connect fully. Okay, so someone saw that you were trying to make this change, Scorpio energy. They saw you were trying to connect fully to the Palladian side of your lineage. Okay, so you were trying to pick up, you were trying to bear your crown is what it is. You were trying to B-E-A uh, or your crown, right? You was trying to put that mug on and somebody came for your crown and you had to show them who you were. Like somebody thought you didn't deserve to bear the crown, Capricorn. But Spirit said, nah, -uh, deaf to that. The devil is alive. Okay. This was someone low vibrational in your family or your friend circle or your community. Okay. Uh, we have power here with the four of discs and we have completion with, and this is clarifying the bare spirit. So yeah, something you've gained, you gain your power back. You gain control back. And he said, it's a no brainer on the song. As soon as I said that, Oh, it's a no brainer. Okay. Capricorn. <laughs> so maybe you're not as in the void or as in a low space as I, because I don't, I'm, look, me, if I'm speaking from my perspective on this Capricorn, I'm not in a low space. I feel good. Even though I saw what happened, happen, like, I feel like this person shouldn't have been in my energy. So um, if something did end with a witch, right, because that's how it was shown to me is that there was a witch, a literal, a witch, a dark entity. Okay, um, trying to come up in my home. Okay, and see, like I said, I got that barbed wire fence. It's like, you know, when a dog is trying to get up in the yard, well, technically they use this type of fencing for like um, when a dog is trying to get out the yard and they touch that wiring and it, it zapped their ass. You know what I'm saying? And so Capricorn, like somebody got zapped. But I'm telling you, I saw spirit. Somebody got struck by lightning. And if it wasn't that they got struck by, I saw them get struck by lightning <laughs> because they showed me storm. Storm's eyes fill up with lightning. <laughs> Zeus eyes and Zeus is the God of thunder and lightning. You had to let someone know, like, see, someone tried, this is what it was as well, because in my vision, spirit showed me this, that someone was trying to put a cloud, a storm cloud over my crown and my third eye. And see, in a reading I did recently, I don't remember which sign it was, I'm sorry, but it was, I want to say maybe Gemini. It was like someone was trying to cloud or someone, there was a, a mask, a covering, a storm over Gemini's head. Well, when I went into my meditation, I saw that over my avatar. And I was like, hold the fuck up. <laughs> Let me clear this. And so when I cleared it, I had to show this person, damn it, I am the storm. You can't bring me no storm. I am that motherfucker. So this is like that type of energy for you, Capricorn. You had to let someone know you can't bring death to me. I am death. Scorpio energy. Spirit stepped in and had your back. Clarify why elves is here. So yeah, back to what I was saying. I don't feel like you're in no bad energy or no bad 
juju, no bad vibe, no bad space, no bad feeling, no ill, nothing. None of these cards say that. Okay? None of these cards say that. <laughs> so no, Capricorn, you're not. This is how you're feeling. Ace of Cups. Your cup is full. You're feeling full. You're feeling happy. There's interference here, but the interference is six of wands. There's some sort of success and victory and recognition that's trying to come in for you by way of the will of fortune with the fortune energy showing up. Okay, so that confirms what I was just about to say. And the feeling is that no, Capricorn, you're not in no bad energy. You don't feel bad at all. You, you actually feel good. And you actually are like, ah, uh, whoever that was or whoever that is, like, uh, sorry for you. Um, not to sound insensitive, but you do the math, Capricorn, and anybody that's trying to come for us, right, Capricorn? In this moment, it's like if somebody was attacking you, what would you do? Let them come in your energy and have their way, or would you uh, uh, show them that you they need to move around? Honey, this is this land right here. This land, these lands, this territory is blessed. This land is covered by the light. Okay. Whether I'm tapping into the energy of the sun or the energy of the storm clouds, the thunder. Okay. What lightning bolt do you want? I'm just saying, Capricorn. And you have to let somebody know here with protection here. Okay. So there's worry here. Five of pentacles. Okay. Someone could be at a loss. You had to leave somebody out in the cold. You had to cut somebody off. You had to bring an abrupt end in order. This is self-preservation. You had to protect yourself, Capricorn. So you brought you made an, you made a fast decision uh, for your yep yeah, for your nine of pentacles for your security. Who wouldn't do this? Who wouldn't do this? And I guarantee you, if you got to stand before. Uh, the judge, the Holy Spirit, okay, and say, Spirit, this is why I 187 this person. It's because this person came into my energy, and I have signs that say, Do not trespass. <laughs> but somehow, this person got caught as soon as I turned on my alarm system, the sun. <laughs> The covering of the Holy Spirit, Capricorn. As soon as you cut on your alarm system, they happen to be caught. Protection. They came trying to bring you this seven of swords. Somebody came to you with futility. This could have been a lover with the lover's card showing up here. This could have been someone, oh gosh, either they're a lover or they're a Gemini. Okay. This person betrayed you in some type of way. And unfortunately, like I said, when they came in your energy, trying to, I don't know what they was trying to do. They was trying to make some sort of adjustment, but they got uh, electrocuted. Look at the lightning bolts. I'm not playing. Look at them bolts. That electricity went through their ass. They got what they came for. Justice energy. Oh. Spirit did this. I'm trying to tell you what just happened. I witnessed it in the 5D or whatever dimension I be in when I be meditating. <laughs> okay. Knight of Wands. Okay. We have Two of Cups and we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So there's action being taken on your behalf, Capricorn. Um, Two of Cups. Spirit is working with you. This is my card of being tuned in and tapped in. Queen of Pentacles. Her antlers are tuned and tapped into the divine, to source. So you were tuned and tapped into source. And source came through with that Ace of Wands. Again, that fire energy. Spirit, spirit instructs somebody or something. Princess of Wands. Okay. Um, Ten of Swords. It's over. There's the Ten of Swords. Knight of Death. Someone's getting a new Ten of Cups here. A new, um, they're getting new wish fulfillment here. Okay? Someone's getting new wish fulfillment. This is you, Capricorn. You're coming into some sort of newness after experiencing some sort of sorrow, some sort of loss. So again, Capricorn, if this is someone you knew, my condolences. 
My condolences for anyone's loss, period. I'm not insensitive at all. Okay, but what I'm saying is if this person then came into your energy or this person had ill will or intention for you with the Aceon and the devil. Okay, with the Aceon and the devil, they could have been trying to um, break you, break you. They were trying to break you down. Okay, with success and strength here and ace of disc and then the hangman, they were trying to break you down and keep you from this level up or ascension or going on this new journey or choosing this new way of being or this new path or this new life. Okay, they wanted you to be in the hangman energy. Okay, that's why with the three of disc here, that's why they were working together. Okay, Capricorn, this could have involved a cancer. A Pisces okay but with the ace of swords here you're free from that here's your abundance three of cups and here's your Empress and dang it this is gonna be somebody's tower okay because with the ten of wands here and the strife here someone didn't expect for this change to happen i think capricorn this is you with the universe and the hermit you didn't expect spirit showed you the spirit was going to do something miraculous, but you didn't know what it was, Capricorn, and you did not expect for it to be this. But now that it's this, you're in a position of um, Queen of Swords. Control, wisdom, authority, defeat, um, not defeat. You're in a position of victory after the battle. Okay. This is victory after the battle for you, Capricorn. This is what it looks like. This is you getting everything that someone tried to block you from. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can get, let's see, final message spirit for Capricorn. Okay, final message for my Capricorn. Because the camera is going to shut off. Final message for Capricorn, what's coming? Thank you, spirit. Okay, we have eight cups that just fell on the floor. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So this is the return. This is the return. Okay, Winter Solstice Energy. This is the return of your abundance, Capricorn. This is the return of your opportunities. This is the return or you returning to the path. Spirit has made a way for you, Capricorn. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you have, be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Bye, Capricorn.